Sunday morning, I think about the 28th or something. I was just a check of the days, but we just received a call from the hospital saying that um, baby isn't doing too well, which they do when um when the parents are not there, they always give the the parents a call. It's not the news that we obviously wanted to hear, but they asked if we can come up to the hospital just so we can talk to the doctors. Um, but yeah. We should have a little prayer together. Um, Mom's obviously pretty sad. She had a little cry. Um, but yeah, I'm praying and hoping that everything's all good and he's gonna be all good. Yeah, pray for us, Edge's family. Pray for us. So we can um, um, see from son's condition that yeah, his tummy is a little bit hard, which is where the infection is. Um, he's obviously sick, but yeah, praying that he can push through, give him a blessing, and we're just gonna go meet with the doctors now to talk about um, yeah, his conditions and stuff. to see a surgeon and pretty much see if they can um doesn't sound nice but cut a hole in his tummy, drain some of the air out. Um but they're afraid that he might also have another hole in his stomach. Um but yeah, we're gonna be close by and we're just gonna continue to pray and yeah, I believe in him. He's so strong. Like his dad. Just like his mum. I wouldn't believe in him. <laughs> but yeah, so today's gonna be a long day. But definitely hopeful and definitely have faith. Come on, son. He's gotta play for the rest of but he's gonna get us the He's gonna get us the premiership, so. He's gonna pull free, guys. He's gonna pull free. Yes, yes, So yeah, he's gone into his surgery. Um, they're still preparing a little bit of things, but um, 
it shouldn't take too long according to the doctor he said it only take about 30 minutes from the time they start but yeah I feel good I feel good I know he's gonna pull through it and um yeah this should make him feel a lot better he will or may in the future need a um a little bit bigger operation this is only sort of a temporary um solution to his infection but yeah, one step at a time and here in NICU you sort of take um, things a day at a time too. It's these babies, you know, they they fight a, a pretty big fight and man, it's crazy. Prim babies, bro. You honestly don't know how strong a human can be unless you um, know a prim baby. And especially a parents to prim babies, but yeah, we can we said a prayer. We're still fasting, so we could. Want to say anything? No. <laughs> we could ashes them. Alright, so we've done that and we've left all the gas out, all the fluid has come out. And um, that little tube is ticking out, that's the brain, but yeah. we'll leave it there. The tummy looks much better, obviously, because oh. it's just all collapsed now. Yeah. yeah. So there's not much. I was worried about bleeding. There wasn't much bleeding. Okay. That's cool. So, Thank so, you so much. Yeah. All right. So just fingers yeah. crossed and yeah. see what happens. Yeah. See what happens. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's right, it is outside line now. Yeah. Okay. So he hasn't got his little mess around and stuff because the surgeons need good access for him. Um, they could run up to the little drain because he's just under the dress. Yeah. 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 Ye
my family. So it's been a couple of hours, well, more than a couple, like a few hours. But it's been ages since we picked up the camera and I'm just gonna close off with this vlog. Currently we're here at the hospital, so they've given us a room. Just in case, just in case, um, the Elias, I don't know, may have a little bit of problems in the night. He usually, he usually loves to keep the nurses busy in the night. But yeah, so we've got a room here and just down the hallway from him so if anything happens he can just come get us but he is he is doing really good he's really stable at the moment even though doing his cues like changing his nappy and and just changing some of the um, lines that he is and he was really good like he didn't um have any problems he was just chilling just chilling well it's pretty sad how they um gave mole's bed on the ground eh? wait what did they give you a bed on the ground for <laughs> How come they gave you a bed on the yeah, bed? Yeah, that's real. <laughs> but how are you feeling after today, Mama? I feel good. Mm. Um, I'm really happy. Very, very glad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. My father was slowly going, <laughs> putting together its pieces again. Um, but yeah, so continue to pray for well. us. But yeah guys, so in a couple of hours he will be, or well, like in about an hour and a half, he'll be officially one week old because he was born last Sunday at 11.51pm and right now it's like 10 something pm on Sunday. So yeah, officially one week old really soon. Just a quick note before closing this vlog, just want to mention something two of the nurses just finished saying, is that my son looks like me, okay? So son, in the future when you watch this vlog, Two nurses at roughly a week old um, said you look like me. No. They did. Did they? <laughs> Be honest. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> I almost fainted <painted> today, so. <laughs> I love you, Lashes family. Thank you for all your prayers. Once again, grateful for Heavenly Father and, and blessing us with so many miracles, especially on this day. Peace out.